Hello, welcome to Ray Recommends. This week I was invited to read at an event called London is the Place for Me. It's in its third year and was curated by Trini Jamaican curator Melanie Abrahams. Follow Renaissance One on Twitter to make sure you don't miss the next events. Yesterday's event was to celebrate Jamaican poet James Berry's inauguration into the British Library archive. Now, James Berry, like my own father, migrated from Jamaica to England after the Second World War. Although there has been a black presence in Britain since the 14th century, the Windrush ship is often taught as the arrival of the black presence on British shores. You can read about the Windrush myth for more on that. The Windrush is important though, especially for first, second and new Afro-Caribbean British people. That, for many of us, is where our journeys as Brits begins. Yesterday, Hannah Lowe gave a, a remarkable lecture on the significance of James Berry and acknowledged him as the first poet to anthologize the black British voice in poetry. That alone means that uh, someone writing now in the early 21st century um, as a British Jamaican poet has a lot to thank James Berry for. What events like this do is remind us that the British Caribbean experience is unique and that there are various migration stories blown by other winds across the Atlantic. I think that many of us are influenced heavily by the dominance of the black American narrative. So as poets, if we aren't aware of poets like James Berry, who came coming from Jamaica, um, settling in England and writing poetry, then we're kind of missing our own boat. Andrea Levy's quote, that if Englishness doesn't define you, then redefine Englishness, is an invitation for all of us to explore the people who look and sound like us, but are erased or muted from the national story. Thanks to the James Berry archives now in the British Library, we have the opportunity as British Caribbean poets to examine and explore our origins and write new maps from our past into the present. I read a poem yesterday called Confession by James Berry because it reminded me of the voice of my own father, who I think was exhausted by the racism that he experienced while in Britain, on the streets and in the workplace. I think that James Berry carried a similar kind of baggage on a similar kind of ship as my father. So his poem Confession, which is in A Story I Am In, um, published by Blood Axe Books. So I'm going to read the poem um, that I read yesterday, um, just because I, I felt something as I was reading it. It really did evoke for me the, the, the times that I spent sitting with my dad uh, and him in his sombre moments just opening up to me about, I guess, it was almost like therapy, like he, he, he was carrying a lot. And when I say that he was exhausted by racism, I think that it limited um, his imagination and the kind of places that he could see himself going. So this poem is called Confession. I had a condition, she said. I was born in England, you see. Till last week, I was 17 years old. I've never seen a Caribbean island where my parents came from. But I was born to know black people had nothing. Black people couldn't run their own countries, couldn't take part in running the world. Black people couldn't even run a good two people relationship. They couldn't feed themselves, couldn't make money, couldn't pass exams and couldn't keep the law. And black people couldn't get awards on television. I asked my mother why black people never achieved, never explored, always got charity. My mother said black people were cursed. I knew, I knew that. I knew black people were cursed and I was one. All the time I knew I was cursed. Then, going through a book on art one night, 
A painting showed me other people in struggle. It showed me a different people like that. Ragged, barefoot, hungry, looking they were in struggle. I looked up. The people needed. Other people needed. Or needed to remember their struggle. Or even just to know their need of struggle. No, not curse. Black people were not cursed. So I'm off to Jamaica for the Calabash Literature Festival this week. I'm going to see you in a couple of weeks, but follow me on Twitter at Raymond Antrobus to keep, keep updated. Ray recommends.